Product demonstration videos are probably one of the best ways to sell a product. Filmora has some amazing product demo templates that can help you earn some extra money. Question: What influences us to purchase products online? Answer: A good product demonstration video. Filmora templates makes creating product demonstration videos quick and easy. So this is probably one of the easiest ways to generate extra income. Let's create some. Let's start with an easy one. A local jeweler has asked us to create a product demonstration video for these three items. So we're going to use templates to do just that. So click on templates, make sure you're on templates on the left, and then search for jewellery. It's brought up a couple of templates. I'm going to use this one and I'll drag and drop that onto the timeline. So let's take a quick look at that one. Now there's no music with this one so you can choose any music you want and just add it underneath. We'll change the items first and then we'll add some music. So click to replace material, go to expand template. This is how I like to edit it. You can see everything that's within the template and we can see here as we scroll along there is one, two, three products and we have three of the client products. If I now go back to the media tab you can see that our items are there and the items with the green tick are the ones that are already in the template which we want to change and the way we do that is quite simple we hold the alt key on the keyboard and we click and drag and drop it on top of the item that's already there so you can see the image change there we can then scale it down by dragging the sliders to about there let's go along to the next one I'll hold the alt key on the keyboard and click and drag and drop it on top again and I'll scale that one down as well and let's go to the last one hold the alt key click drag and drop it on top and scale that one down as well we've also got some text in here so let's go back to the very beginning okay click on the text and then we can change whatever we want I'll leave new collection that's fine February hot list at a glance and um, I'll just change that to February sale even though it's June doesn't matter <laughs> it's just a demonstration 2023 I'll change to 2024 scroll down again Vivian jewelry that would be the name of the client obviously in my case FWF fun with Filmora is my client then we've got new spring summer collection that's fine you can change that to whatever you want or leave it as it is and obviously you can change the text in here as well by changing the size and the color as you can with any other text okay so we've now got the first slide done let's go along to the next slide i'll change nose gay to fwf again obviously you put in what the actual item is the websites can be changed to the client's websites obviously in my case fun with film order uk because I'm based in the UK you then do the same for the last two slides changing whatever you need to and now we need to find some music so let's go up to audio music and let's just type in love jewelry is generally associated with love and let's see what comes up the first one is beautiful love AI music let's have a listen sounds perfect let's drag and drop that onto the audio timeline and we have to go to the end of the video and we need to chop the end of this music off here so click on the scissors then delete the last piece I'm gonna fade it out by dragging the little dot and moving it inwards let's go to the start and see what that looks and sounds like works well and there we have it how quick and easy was that let's make the next one a little more challenging our client has gave us a number of videos it's a bakery he's given us his logo and he's given us some music as well to create a product demonstration video and we've gone to templates we've typed in baking 
and while there are some templates there, there's none that we think are suitable. So what do we do? Not a problem. What we can do is use any template. It doesn't have to be a baking template. So for example, let's just type in new product. And there's a template there called home improvements. Let's just drag that onto the timeline. And we'll use this one. Let's just see what it looks like to begin with. Yep, we'll use that. So we have thousands of templates that we can use. It doesn't have to be specific to the actual item. Right, what we need to do first is click to replace material. Now, normally I would go to expand template, which I'll do now just to show you. And that expands the whole template. And there you can see everything that you need to see so you can edit it. Let me just go back because what I want to do now is show you how to edit the template here. This is good to use if you don't need to do any transitions or you don't need to lengthen any of the videos. This will simply replace exactly what you've got in there at the same duration. So you can see at this moment in time, all the footage with the little green ticks on is the footage that's actually in the template. So for example, that image there or that video there, you can see is that one there with the little green tick on. Everything without a green tick is our footage. So we want to replace our footage with the footage that's in this template. And the way we do that in here, let me just choose my first video I want to use. Okay, I'm going to use the baker there. You simply click and drag and drop onto there. But you're governed, you can't make it any longer. You can't put any transitions in. But it's a quick way of getting a decent video done. Right, I'll just drag and drop all the other ones in no particular order. These are all our footage that I'm replacing. Scroll back up and get the rest of the footage. And the last one. And you can see that took no time at all. So all our footage is in there. Now let's have a quick look. Great, take no notice to the text, we'll be changing that. And the way you change your text in here is you go to the text tab, click on the first one, and that takes you to that piece of text within the template. This is where you can change all the text. I'll just say welcome for the first one. You click on the second one, it takes you to the next piece of footage with that text in. I'm just gonna say video one, but obviously you'd put in whatever text you need. You can also from here move it around if you want to by clicking and dragging. I don't want to, I'll leave it in the center. Let's go to the next one. Now there's two pieces of text here. So just change that for whatever you want. I'll say video two on the top one. And underneath, I'll just say delicious cake. Okay, then go right through the rest of the footage doing exactly what I've just done there. I'll speed this up, but it only took a couple of minutes to complete. To change the font, color, etc., you would have to expand the template. Check out my video on how to do this. Now that that's done, let's have a quick look at that. Yeah, that's great. I'm really happy with that. Okay, we now want to change this music. And the way we need to do that is we now need to expand the template. And you can see the music's at the bottom there. We click on that and delete it. We go to our media tab and we drag down the music that we want to use and put it on the audio timeline. Let's have a look at that now and see what that sounds like. That looks great, I love that music. <laughs> what we need to do is chop that off at the end of the video. So go to the very end of the video, click on the scissors and delete that music and just fade it out a little bit at the end there. Also what I'd like to do with this one is add the logo on. 
So let's go to Media, Influence Kit, and start creating a logo. Click on there. Choose the type of design that you want. I quite like that second one, Digital Pixel. And click on Start Creating. This is where you'll add the logo from the company. That's fine, and I don't want any text underneath. So I'm just going to delete that. Click on Finish. That's now added the logo, but it's added it at the very beginning of the video. What I want to do is drag that up to the third timeline because I want to move the rest of the video underneath it. So let me just shrink that timeline down a bit so I can see. Highlight it all, drag it across, and I'll make that full width again. Now I've got a feeling this logo is going to be on for too long. I only want it to be on the first video. So get to where it's just about to change and drag that down. Okay. I also want to move the logo to the top right hand corner. And we can do that by clicking on the logo and dragging the position X and Y. So I'll drag that right over to the right and I'll move it up. Maybe scale that down a bit, it's a little bit big. Leave it there. Go back to the beginning, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's brilliant. I love this music. <laughs> and there we have it. Wasn't that easy and how professional did it look? I'm sure your client would be very happy with that. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the notification icon. That really does help my channel. As always, thanks for watching. Now go have some fun.